So we have a friend that just uh, has a few issues with his hands. He has both wrists taped up. He can't use them. And his wife is um, pretty much at wit's end. But he's unaware of this. So we're going to go do an intervention. It should be kind of fun. If you had a choice between somebody else's hand and taking care of it yourself with the push of a button and having a machine clean you, what, uh, what would you choose? So the plan is to go to Joe's favorite chicken spot. Uh, fried chicken seems to make him a little regular, so we're going to see if we can um, expedite <laughs> the cause. Hi. Hello, Ray. I got to stop and pick up Joe some chicken. Nice. <laughs> okay, you can come in. Just let me tell him you're here first. Okay. This one's probably going to happen. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be good at all. Yeah, um, he doesn't want to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, he thinks he's going to turn some kind of... So we have quite the problem here in the United States, and it's called the silent suffering of America. Millions of Americans think that toilet paper is working for them when 70% of the people over age 65 have afflictions due to toilet paper use. But they don't talk about it. We can't discuss it. We can't because we have this Anglo-Saxon Puritan belief that our bodies down there should be dirty. It can't be clean. Touching it is a bad thing. Well, what happens when you can't touch it any longer? You have to ask somebody else to do it. How much you? How are you feeling? Getting by. Getting by, yeah. A little sore, but yeah. Managing, kind of tough. This thing is worse. Is it? Yeah. But no, I got some pretty good pain meds, and uh, got the wife take care of me, so I'm all right. <laughs> Tell me why you're here. Her invention. Yeah, no, I don't need that. Told you about that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm good. Yeah, it's not gonna cost you anything. We're just gonna put it in for you, so you can, you know, get by. What are you, what are you doing? Lori's gone. You gotta work, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, usually I, I have jeans on now because I was expecting company, but usually I just have sweats on and I can get those down by myself and I'll just sit on pot till she gets home. You know? Take care of me. Would you like to try it, Lori? I mean, we can put it in if you can talk them into it. I would love it, but. Well, yeah, it's for women anyway, you know, it is basically. Not. Yes, it is. How would it be for women? Are the women dirtier than men when they go? No, but the, you're just, that's what they're designed for, for women, not for guys. So it's just women that can't wipe good, is that what you're saying? Yeah, basically. So you're saying I don't wipe good, is that what you're saying? Not all the time. Nice. Are you, you're talking for you, of course. What's that? She doesn't wipe good for you all the time. What, what are you going to do? I mean, you can't rely on your wife to wipe it. That's kind of weird. They're talking about you at the coffee shop. It's kind of weird that we have this great invention, this thing that can help you out. It's helped out friends of yours, and you're not willing to even give it a try? Just try it. Yeah, okay. Leave it here. See you later. I'll try it. Well, you don't have to get upset. I... Oh, I'm not upset. It's just none of your business, you know? I'm... I'll, I'll take care of things the way I want to take care of things, and, you know. You know, that's, that's where you are wrong. It is part of my business. That's what we do. Is we sell the days, don't we, Mike? That's what we do. No, I, 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 see you guys later. <coughs> Sorry, Thanks, my kids thanks might for be stopping dirty. by. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, I'll probably, yeah, the minute you get out the door, I'll, I'll be trying it. All right. All righty. Thanks. Bye. See you later. What are you doing? I told you not to let them guys in. Yeah, that was going to be really rude to them. Well, why not? So do you want to go try it? No. No, I'm not going to try it. I just said you that said to get rid of them. Yeah, what's a big deal? Oh. Why don't you try it? It's just, it's weird. It's not right. Strange. Let me ask you this. If you had the option between somebody else having to clean your backside or being able to do it in your bathroom, in your privacy, 
under your own mobility, what would you choose? Seriously, if I try it, you'll try it. I'll think about it, really. Just let me know. Way in hell I'm gonna try that thing. Yeah. It's just not right, is it? Oh. You gotta be crap. You. No, I'm serious. <laughs> There's absolutely, absolutely, absolutely no way. I will Come on. Open. This is like the third time since Tuesday. Well, it's twice in one day. Well, yeah, that's the way it works out. The anesthesia and all that stuff kind of bound me up for a little bit. Steve, it's better than my hand. It's not better than my hand. I will gladly give you. All right, I'll try it. Then try this bathroom down here, please. I'm gonna try it for you. I think you're about ready to wipe your own ass. Excuse me? I said you look like you're about ready to wipe your own ass. You're getting around pretty good. Yeah? Well, yeah. it's been a minute. They should have got you happy pills. They're just a little bit crabby. Yeah, yeah, I can help you push the buttons if you want. Alright, I'm starting to feel feminine and ready. That's your own doing. Yeah, just between you and me. It doesn't feel too bad. Then why would you be afraid if it was between you and me? Why would you want to tell anybody if you saves from their spells having to wipe their ass? I got a reputation to keep. Yeah, a reputation's a dirty pig or what? No, it is. It is alright. My golly, I think I got... Another one brewing here, believe you it or got, not. You got you do not. No. Now you're just making. You're going to start taking... Except no. so you can use it. Yeah, yeah. You have to admit the seat's kind of nice. It was, it was. It was kind of warm and different. I mean, you remember when they gave me the little squirt water thing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's no different. I mean, that was great. We've had a hidden camera right here. <laughs> yeah. No way! <laughs> yeah. Lori, Good thing I didn't hide it by the TV screen because I never looked past that. <laughs> oh, so you were in on this, huh? TV cruising. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you definitely edit it before it, uh, you do anything with it. So what do you have to say to the rest of the Americans out there that are scared to use a bidet? They're in the situation that you're in right now, and their wife or their mother or their father or some stranger is cleaning them. What would you, what would you have to say to them now that you've been through the whole process? Yeah, just uh, don't be a stubborn Dutchman. Try it. You will like it. Here and here. Do you like them better now? Oh yeah. It's actually happier. And I like it. If you had a choice between somebody else's hand and taking care of it yourself with a push of a button and having a machine clean you, what uh, what would you choose? <laughs>